Welcome to another video. I am the Starman and I'm currently sat in the Star Bus at home but I'm about to head out and see if I can capture the moon rising. We've got an almost full moon tonight, 98.5%, the hunter's moon for October. That's what it's called for October. Anyway, you know me, whenever I go out for a moon rise, I don't like to do things by half. So what I want to do is I want to travel. It's around about 40 minutes down to the Chorley area in Lancashire and there's a hill there called Rivington Pike. I've been there before. I'll put a link to a video I did there with Frank earlier this year. You might have seen it. Rivington Pike, there's like, um, there's a folly on the top of it, like a little brick building Victorian thing on the top it's close to the Winter Hill TV mast as well and what I want to do is to see if I can capture the moon rising over Rivington Pike and that folly on the top and we might even get some people up there as well because you tend to get people up there it's good weather it should be fairly clear I hope by the time I get there and the only trick is is because it's a high fairly high hill and I'm looking up towards the the peak is that the moon will rise above the hill a little bit later quite a bit later than it does above the horizon so the moon rises at around about 18:30 tonight just about the same time as sunset but i don't expect to be able to see the moon until at least probably 15 to 20 minutes it could even be seven o'clock before i see the moon come up above the hill it might be a tricky one this one i'll need to have a bit of room to move around but i found a, a place where i can stand to get the picture somewhere near the motorway there's a road and there's also a public footpath as well and that's where i'm going to go to see if i can capture the moon rise i was so unlucky last time i went there we just missed the moon and it was all due to cloud getting in the way it stopped us from getting an epic shot of the moon rising up behind this building and also as well i'll be about two miles away from the summit so that means i'll be able to get a nice perspective i'll be able to make the moon look absolutely huge and if there's people up there it'll look even better anyway let's head down there now and see what i can do right okay i've made it i've just parked up the star bus luckily enough i've found a place to park here just off the main road which is not too far away from where i want to be so what i'll do is I'll just turn the camera around now and I'll show you where we are. Okay, so there's the star bus there. That's where I'm going to leave it. Now, we do have a clear sight of the hill from here. There's the bridge over the M61. And my goodness, it's noisy. Can you hear that traffic? So we will be able to see the moon rise from here. But I don't think that this is going to be a good location because um, I don't think we're going to be at the right angle to capture the moon as it... Uh, clears that hill i'm not sure i might be wrong but can you see it up there we've got a good view of it here that's where i want to catch the moon up there over that folly up there uh, now what i think i need to do is i think i need to be a little bit further along this road along that down that way there so that's what i'm planning to do and that's where i'm looking to go down there there's the winter hill transmitter as well there yeah, that's a big Winter Hill transmitter as well, so it's possible chance to get the moon over that as well. That might make a good shot, so we'll see. Hey, I tell you what, what a racket that traffic's making on the M61. Anyway, I'm heading back to the Starbucks now to pick up my camera and my tripods, and we'll see if we can get the moon rising over Rivington Park, shall we? Yeah, it's, uh, we're now pretty much on the time when the moon literally just starts to rise above the horizon but the horizon is going to be somewhere down here so uh, like i say because we're looking towards a hill we're looking up a little bit i'm trying to gauge how long it'll take before the moon appears above that hill and i can actually see people up there i don't know if you can see if you zoom in i know i'm using the phone here but can you see people i can see people walking around up there wouldn't it be cool if i got a shot of the moon coming up over there with people walking around it that'd be awesome we'll have to wait and see won't we okay i've decided to head down this road a bit to the spot that i did have in mind because i think back there where i was there i think that the moon is going to be too far i think it's going to be too far over so i'm going to head down here but hopefully if I'm wrong, I've still got plenty of time to, to run around and move to a different position. But I think I will be a bit closer down this way. 
And what I need to do is, if I do happen to see the moon creeping above the hill, and it's not where I want it to be, then I'm going to have to be very quick to move around and move one way or the other to make sure that it comes up behind that, uh, that tower thing. I tell you what, it's a bit of a walk, but uh, I've done longer walks to capture a moon, right? So uh, it's not too bad. Anyway, that little uh, footpath that I marked off as the spot is just up here on the left-hand side. We're almost there. I'm going to set up there and wait for the moon to rise. OK, so I found the path here. This is it here now. And I'm hoping that this path here gives me enough lateral movement. There's my camera with the 300 millimetre lens on that I can move around up and down this path here to get the right angle to get the moon coming up over Riverton Pike. Can you see it up there now? We've got a lovely belt of Venus up there now. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so I'm hoping that this path here will give us enough lateral movement either way just to make sure I get the shot lined up with that uh, tower. I really hope so. Okay, wish me luck. There's the tower over there. I'm going to set up here and hope that I've got my angles right. Let's see, shall we? And what I'll do is I'll I'll make sure the lens is focused first. So I'll 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 point towards the tower and make sure that the lens is focused. Okay, I've just taken a picture just to show you what it's like a lovely pink sky up there and you can see them people up there now if i've got my angles right and the moon does come up behind there it could be an epic shot if those people hang around now i've also got this um, two times converter as well but i'll only use it if i really have to if i have time to put this on and get a little bit closer i will do but i will have to probably bump up the iso because the shutter speeds are going to be fairly slow and when you use a two times converter, your light gathering goes down by two stops. So I'll have to be careful there if I use that. OK, I've decided to put the two times converter on because I am quite far away, as you can see, and I'm only using a 300 millimeter lens. Now, I was going to play it safe with the 300, but I've decided to go for it and stick the two times on. The only thing is, of course, I have to raise the ISO because the shutter speeds are pretty low. Even on the tripod, I don't want to risk any camera shake. OK, we've got the shadow of the Earth rising now above the hill, and that pink band is rising, the belt of Venus. And there's loads of people up there as well. They can probably see the moon now. They can probably see it up there. They can probably see it rising in the far distance, but we can't see it yet because that hill's in the way. Let's hope that it comes up behind that tower. You know what, there's a really bright light over there and I thought that was a plane. Can you see that? It's actually Jupiter, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is a planet Jupiter. I mistook Jupiter for an airplane. Oof. Oh, there's a bit of cloud there. And I just wonder, I mean, I can see the sky brightening up. I've come down this path. I've actually come down this path quite a bit now because I've got a funny feeling in fact I'm looking at the angles and I think it's gonna come up to the right of the tower so I've got to walk down this path I think I can see the clouds lighting up over there yeah the clouds are definitely lighting up that tells me that the moon is somewhere behind there but I can't see it yet I just wonder if that clouds in the way oh I'll tell you what I'm sorry about that but I had to rush and I had to jump over this this uh, gate here, there is actually a style next to it, but what happened was the moon was rising so much to one side. Can you see it now? Look at it above the tower there now. It's right up above the tower, but I wasn't going to see it until about seven o'clock. And that meant that I had to come all the way around here and I had to go into that field there to get a shot. Anyway, I did manage to get some shots of it at least, so it's not a total loss. Yeah, I'm sorry the picture's a bit green. It's really, really dark down here. But I managed to get a shot just about. I was on the edge. I was waiting and waiting for the moon to come up. And I thought, it's never going to come up. And in the end, it rose too far to the right-hand side, which meant I had to come down here 
all the way down this track and climb over this fence behind me so that I could get the angle to get the moon just about touching that uh, that uh, castle thing at the top there. So what I'll do is I'll put those pictures on right now. And uh, yeah, a little bit of a rush job at the end. And I had to leave my camera on the other side of the fence. So I couldn't really show you me taking those pictures. But anyway, I hope you like this video. And if you do hit the like button, also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I will see you again on the next one. Look at these pictures now. I just about managed to get it. Pretty amazing.